guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys some hot new drugstore eyeshadow palettes that recently just launched you guys know i'm a sucker for eyeshadow palettes because it's just so much fun to play with you can be really creative and i just love if it's affordable like drugstore ulta type of price point so if you guys want to see these hot new drugstore eyeshadow palettes plus this look right here that i created using one of the palettes and of course let's get started Alright, so starting off, I only have four eyeshadow palettes in front of me because um, that's pretty much all that I could find in Ulta. I did go to Ulta for all of these products. Um, the brand is going to be Essence and Catrice. Those two brands pretty much just launch like a bunch of new complexion products and of course like eyeshadows and like lip products. Um, I wanted to get one palette from LA Girl, but they actually had their palette in store after I already purchased these products. So I'll insert a picture of the one from LA Girl that I really wanna get my hands on um, that I recently just launched on Ulta's website and I think this should be in stores by now so I'll just uh, put a picture so you, have, so you guys can see it right here. But that is also a new eyeshadow palette that recently just launched if you are a fan of LA Girl um, products and if you like affordable eyeshadow palettes as well. So again, I'll just have it linked so you guys can see it. Um, Moving on into the first eyeshadow palette, I'll just do what I'm actually wearing on my eyes. It's going to be the Essence Child Benazia. I think I'm saying it wrong, but um, it's their eyeshadow palette, which is the packaging. Just look like this. I think it's so cute. You guys have pretty much have like a bunch of the palettes like this. It's pretty much like different themes for each palette. I do have the Ola Rio eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. And I actually used that one in a recent video as well. I have the link in my description box if you guys haven't seen it. But I did pick up another one because I just thought it was so cute and it's definitely different from what I'm used to just playing with. They also have one I want to say it's called the LA palette might be wrong but again I'll just link it so you guys can see what I'm talking about they do have one more that I want to get my hands on but they didn't have it at my Ulta but again this is the one that I have on my eyes today and then when you open it up here is the actual colors of the eyeshadow palette I think it's so pretty you do get one two three four five six seven eight nine colors in this palette um, in terms of shimmer shades you have one two three four five you have six shimmer shades and you have three matte shadows. So I think it's just a really pretty cute like springtime, summertime palette. That was my like mindset when I actually purchased this palette. Um, it was super easy to work with. I didn't have any problems with any of the eyeshadows. I did have to wet the shimmer shades because they weren't like amazing to be honest, but they weren't like horrible either. Um, it just required some assistance so besides that i did enjoy the eyeshadow palette and i mean you guys know essence is pretty like affordable like you cannot go wrong with their products um and here is just three colors swatched on my hands so i just swatched the green the burgundy and like that really pretty maroon color so you guys can see how they swatch i know applying and swatching is two totally different things because i mean swatching it the shimmers look pretty promising but when applying it to the eyes i did have to use a spray to just wet my brush just to kind of give the shimmers some assistance so just keep that in mind um this pal this palette cost $9.99 so again it's super affordable for the drugstore and again it's a really pretty palette they have so many different versions of this palette in terms of like different color schemes again just go to Ulta website or just go in store see which one catch your attention in terms of colors and again I did create my I look using this palette today I used one two three four five so I used five colors in this palette um, so I kind of have a good good idea as far as how this palette works. So again, definitely check it out. Um, I did enjoy playing with it and I think it's definitely worth the $9.99. So again, check it out. See what you think about it. Moving on and I guess I'll do a Catrice palette since I did just talk about Essence. So this is going to be the Catrice Cosmetic Badass Bay eyeshadow palette love the packaging on it so cute like when i first seen this on ulta's website i honestly got like milani vibe you guys know milani cosmetics have their palettes that they dropped i want to say it was probably two years ago um like the gilded and all that extra stuff so this is the vibe that i got from this palette but again it's called the badass bay eyeshadow palette here is the inside of this palette you guys look at this freaking eyeshadow palette when i seen it online i was like yes 
since going home with me and I just stalked my Ulta website until they actually like said it was available in store and I was so happy to get my hands on it. Again, it do remind me of the Milani eyeshadow palette, uh, that whole like collection that they had that they dropped two years ago but I just think it's so pretty. It's definitely a warm tone eyeshadow palette. My kind of colors and I wanted to play with it so bad today for my eyeshadow look but I told myself just leave it alone try something different for my eyes so if you have the milani palette i don't think you need to get this one um let me actually grab the milani one so you can see what i'm talking about all right so this is the milani's palette right here it's going to be the pure passion eyeshadow palette so again i do get some milani vibes with it um it's the closest thing that i have in my collection in terms of in terms of a dupe uh, let me hold up the one by Catrice so you guys can see them side by side. So again, some of the color schemes in here is quite similar. Um, so if you have the Milani palette, you don't need to get the Catrice eyeshadow palette. But I mean, I just I just got to have them both. Um, it does say slay all day, every day. I think that is so cute right here on top. And then you get a nice size mirror. Um, yeah, like it's so cute. Okay, this one costs... This one is going to be a little bit more expensive. Let's see. This one costs $14.99. So it's a little bit more pricey. Let me just swatch. Ooh. Swatching it feels really promising. Ooh. Look, look at that. Look at that. That is so freaking pretty. And it feels so soft to the touch. It doesn't feel like patchy or anything like that. Like look at this matte y'all i cannot wait to play with this palette like if i could just use it today i would have but again i always play with these kind of colors on my channel and on my eyes so i didn't want to do that again <laughs> but best believe i'll be putting this palette to use very soon here is one more color and then i will do one more matte for you guys all right, here's that last one right on top. And again, this palette seems pretty promising. Again, it feels re like really, really nice to the touch. It doesn't feel chunky or anything like that. It feels really smooth and it's just swatched really nicely. And the names on here is so cute. It said Badass, Clapback, Savage, Rebel, Break Rules, Own It, um, Lit As, I Don't Give a rbf get at me yes and by felicia so i am loving this palette by catrice i think it's so cute i love the vibe of it i love the color scheme it's definitely like a year-round palette um maybe more so like fallish but i can definitely see myself using it year-round so get your hands on it again it's 14.99 by catrice cosmetics all right moving back into essence i have their fire eyeshadow palette love the packaging on this they have fire earth wind and air if i'm not mistaken like the whole elements vibe but again packaging is so cute and this one is called like dancing flames you guys already know the color scheme of this palette is going to be your warm tone eyeshadow palette um i want to say air is like the blue color scheme um i want to say one of them was like a neutrals palette um, and of course, you have like your warm tone palette. Again, I will have everything linked below for you guys. But when I seen this one, I wanted to get my hands on it because I just like the colors in here. Um, this yellow is kind of random, to be honest with you. Like it's a really random yellow and it's not even like a neon. It's kind of like a muted yellow. So I'm not sure how that's going to perform. Um, but everything else is more so like on the warm tone spectrum. Um, again, definitely my kind of colors. You don't have to get this palette. Um, but I just like these kind of colors and I just think it's nicely packaging easy to travel with you don't get a mirror in here so just keep that in mind if you like to have mirrors there's not there isn't one in here um it just has the name of the palette right here which is called like dancing flames um this one cost $9.99 as well um you do get nine shadows in here just like the other essence palette and i just swatch a few colors for you guys so you can see how this one swatch so yeah, these are swatching pretty nicely as well. It's not as smooth as the Catrice one, but at the same time, it's still swatching really good. Um, here is the swatches on my hand for the Essence palette. The only thing I will say is there isn't really a actual like transitional crease color that I could see myself utilizing besides just this one 
orange color right here um this nude look a little bit too light for my skin tone i mean i haven't tried it yet to actually say it's too light but just looking at it it looks too light to show up against my skin tone so the only crease color that i can see myself using is these two right here the orange one and this burgundy one right here on top i'm still gonna give the tan one a try but i don't i'm not really holding my breath on that one but yeah this is a new one by essence so definitely check it out so if you want to go with the elements like collection check it out if not you do have the ones like this so keep that in mind and then the last palette is going to be by Catrice Cosmetic. It's going to be the Self Made Bay Eyeshadow Palette. So same packaging like the last one. Um, and yeah, this is what the inside of this one looked like. Again, it has the same vibe as the Milani's palette. Um, this one reminded me of, I want to say it's called, let me grab it. Here is the inside of the Self Made Bay palette right here. Um, again, it's the same concept as the Badass palette where you have the different stains on it. And it just have... A mirror on top um, but here is the Milani palette that it reminds me of it's going to be the bold obsessions palette so you do have a few colors in here that's kind of similar um, but at the same time you have some colors that's not in here that's in the Milani one but again you still have the same vibe to the palette so again you don't have to get the Catrice if you already have the Milani because some of the colors in here again are kind of similar um, but you have some extra colors in the Milani that's not in the Catrice eyeshadow palette so that's why I feel like you could probably still get it if you wanted to but you don't have to um so this one is more of like another warm tone palette but it's more like on the um like burgundy side so i definitely have to get my hands on it and of course you have the pops of golds in here that i like um so let me swatch this one it's called hbic because it's definitely calling my name and it doesn't feel chunky at all swatching the shimmer shades which makes me super excited because i don't like chunky shimmery like shimmers it just drives me crazy and it requires too much work so let's swatch the gold one look at that like that could be a really pretty highlight on my face if i wanted to play it that way in terms of like another way to use the actual palette that's really pretty this one called money is so freaking cute it's like a silvery grayish kind of color it is so pretty almost like taupey here it is right here on my hand like that is so pretty and so different like i don't really play with colors like that on my actual like eyes but i will definitely try that very soon um we have role model which is very pretty let's try role model so that's a really pretty like purpley kind of color so here is that one right here and i'm going to swatch one matte for you this one is called equal pay it's a really pretty like matte purple color and hair is equal pay on the bottom so this one also retails for $14.99 just like the other one um the names in hair they're self-made slay hbic money ceo empire hustle boss work queen role model and equal pay and it says looking like a million bucks right here so again really nice palette cannot wait to just dive in and just play with all of these freaking eyeshadows so again definitely check out Ulta because they are finally dropping some new drugstore eyeshadow palettes I'm super excited because you guys know I'm an eyeshadow palette junkie I just love to play with them and again I will have the link for all of them in my description box so you guys can definitely check them out and let me know besides this palette because clearly you guys will see this palette in action which other palette do you guys want me to use in the upcoming video because I do want to do another full face of like drugstore products so let me know which palette do you guys want to see me use i am going to pick up the la um la girls eyeshadow palette as well so if you want to see me use the self-made bay let me know if i should use the essence let me know if i should use the badass bay let me know and again i'm going to pick up the la girl eyeshadow palette as well so out of all of the four eyeshadow palettes let me know which one to use next in my upcoming video i'm also going to have it pulled on my community section so you guys can just do it there as well so either the community section or in the actual comment section down below so i can know which one you guys want to see used in the next video all right you guys so the palette i'm using is going to be the essence child Venice. Venezia eyeshadow palette. I might be saying that so wrong. Um, again, they do have different versions of the palette like this. Um, just pick whichever color scheme pretty much catch your attention. So I kind of figured I'll just use this one because you guys know the other three palettes. They're pretty much in my wheelhouse. And I wanted to create something that's going to be just a different look on my channel. So dive into this palette. 
I'm going to take the first color, which is going to be this really pretty color right here and pop that into my crease. heart up when the rest of me is down you you enchant me even when you're not around All right, I'm gonna take this really pretty pink color and just pop that on my lid. I'm gonna apply the shadow dry, just to see how pigmented it is. And if I have to go in with the spray, I'll definitely use my spray, but just wanna give the shadow a chance first before I use my spray. And it's going on, it's going on okay. It's not like amazing by itself. But it's not like horrible either. Just gonna spray my brush. You lift my heart up when the rest of me is down. You, you enchant me even when you're not around. I'm gonna take my first brush and just blend everything together. All right, going back into the palette, I'm going to take that brown color right here and just put it in my outer V. I'm just going to go super light with it because I don't want it to be too dark, so just a little bit on the brush. Just a little bit like that. heart up when the rest of me is down you you enchant me even when you're not around all right back in the palette i'm gonna take that really pretty green color and put it on my bottom lash line All right, going into the palette, I'm just gonna take this really pretty peachy color and just pop it into my inner tear duct. Just a little 
all right this is pretty much the completed eye look minus the lashes and minus some mascara i'm just gonna go ahead and pop everything on and do my lipstick and all that good stuff and i'll be back to finish off this video hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do please forget to let me know in the comment section down below give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys it would help me out so 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 much if you just subscribe to my channel share with your friends and family i will so appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys